can't believe that Mike is gone. He was my best friend for 20 years. I was his best man when he married Monica. I am the godfather to their six-year-old child, little Donnie. God, Monica and little Donnie don't even know yet that Mike is dead, killed by a lamp. <laughs> Poor unselfish Mike knew that their living room was one lamp short of being perfect. So he was going to go out and buy them the best lamp there ever was. So we went to that famous store, Lamp Paradise, where they sell the best ones in the city. After looking around for a half hour unhappy, we were about to leave when suddenly Mike glimpsed the lamp of his dreams. A 200-pound baby that was seven feet high. A lamp for God. But Mike made his last mistake when he asked the clumsy salesman with three fingers missing to reach up and get it for him. Seven seconds later, Mike was dead, smothered by a 200-pound lamp. And now I have to call Monica and tell her. This is going to be hard. How do you tell someone the love of their life is gone? How do you tell someone they have to raise their little six-year-old child all by themselves? Oh, God, this is going to be hard. Hi, Monica. Hi, this is Barry. Hi, Monica. Oh, my day was fine. How was yours? Oh, you went shopping. Oh, you bought a bicycle built for two for you and Mike. Yeah, I think that's romantic. Irony! <laughs> so, Monica, I, I actually have something to tell you, actually. Uh, Monica, well, it's, it's about Mike. Yeah, yeah, it's about Mike. Um, well, you see, Monica, um, uh, well, you know, it goes like this. Yeah, well, you know Lamps and Mike. Well, well, you know, it, it, well, it's something like this. Uh, I see, Monica, well, um, you know, you know, you know, you know, Monica, um, uh, well, um, uh, um, uh, can I speak to little Donnie, please? Can I speak to little Donnie? Thank you, Monica. <laughs> Hi, little Donnie. Hi, how you doing, kid? It's your Uncle Barry. How's it going, Tiger? Good to hear it. Good. Donnie, your daddy's dead. <laughs> He's dead, Donnie. He's dead. He was hit by a very, very big lamp. Yes, Donnie. He's dead. Now, Donnie, when you get off the phone, you go and tell your mother. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now, Donnie, do you understand what dead means? Right. Right. Exactly, like your goldfish last summer, the one that mom buried in the backyard. You're never going to see your daddy again. I can't believe he's gone. I can't... What? Y yeah, Donnie, I, I guess you're right. Death is a stark inevitability of life. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe he... Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I guess your father would want us to put a happy face on and go on with our lives. It, it just... It... Good point, Donnie. Good... <laughs> Really, Sartre said that? I always thought it was Plato. <laughs> you know, actually, Donnie, you're taking this very well. I mean, you're a very well-read, mature young man. Actually, I wish my employees at work were more like you. <laughs> well, they don't respect me, Donnie. No, no. <laughs> you know, I hear their jokes behind, their, behind my back. And, you know, when I call them the, in their offices, they put me on hold for no reason at all. You only get back what you give? Yeah, I've heard that before, Don. <laughs> Treat them respect, they'll treat me with respect. That's not bad. Well, you know, Donnie, I'm also having problems with my parents. <laughs> when they're in their 70s now, I think it's time for them to go to a home, but they're whining about it. And... Oh, there's someone on the other line? Yeah, sure, I'll hold. 